extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you in Illustrator CC 2014 how to use the Polar Grid tool to create rings. And maybe, uh, obviously, there's loads of ways to create rings, but uh, in this case, just going to use create 100 rings. Concentric divider, set that to 100. Radial divider, set that to 0. So click OK and just create the rings. You can actually just see the rings there now. If you don't set the stroke, you know, obviously just got that to none, you won't be able to see anything, but it, obviously the lines are still there. And also set the stroke there. You can also, of course, modify the thing by changing the width profile. Sometimes very subtle changes, not very revealing particularly there. So, But you can also go to effects and you can use Distort Transform. One of the better ones is probably like Pucker and Bloat. Also, Zigzag works quite nice. Free Distort works very well. Also, Warp. Now, I'm just going to show you Warp. So I'm just going to go Warp. And of course, you can modify that. You just make it bigger. Distort, Center, and click OK. And I'll just, just deselect that so you can actually see the design. There you have it. You've obviously got a different design, so I can just undo that warp. I don't want that one. So go effect, warp, and maybe fish. Just go for fish. So you can see various different designs, and you can modify that. Click OK, and I'm just moving that out of the way. And then you've got the design. Again, it's still all the rings are still there. And of course, you can modify individual ones if you wish. You can ungroup, modify individual ones. But so uh, you can create some really interesting and quite three-dimensional like designs using the warp feature and other features. I hope you found this tutorial of interest.